So what we've got for you now is the lovely Alma and Sue. Now, obviously, we've got completely different shapes. Oh, I see. Comple same skirt. Same skirt. I like it. Now, the ladies, I mean, completely different styles, completely different ages, completely different shapes. The midi skirt is brilliant because it not only does it hit you at the perfect part yeah, of the leg point. that every lady likes, but um, it's kind of that retro feel. It's got a, still very much a summer vibe to it and it suits every shape. So if you're very thin, it's going to give the impression of curves. And if you've already got the curves, well, it's going to hit you in all the right places. That's so give, great. You, give you the waist and then skirt over, uh, or should I say, go over your thighs nicely. Um, so starting with Alma, um, this skirt is from Matalan. It's 18 pounds. It's a lovely colour. Isn't it? And you know, it's actually very wearable because it's on a base of black. Mm -hmm. Now, what we've actually done here is kept it very young, very fresh, and gone with those bold colours. Come back! Oh, no, come back! Come back! We're not done with you! <laughs> She was off to stay get with us, Alma. Stay with all. us. <laughs> <laughs> She's been trying to nick that skirt all morning. What she was doing around <laughs> that? We're watching you, Alma. Um, we've kept it very fresh, very young with these with this colouring. And um, the top is from BHS. It's eighteen pence, and we've got this little cap sleeve there as well. So a little bit of arm coverage. Um, I'm waiting for it to run again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we go to uh, Sue, and this is our nod to ladylike glamour. You know, it has a really 50s feel to it. Really it really changes it when you pick out the orange or the blue. It's totally different, isn't it? But And, you know, one, that's a top tip. That's mm. it. Always look at the colour in the floral, and that's what you should think of when you're bringing on yeah. board other colours. Um, Obviously, with uh, Sue, we've gone for much more muted tones. Again, you know, the weather is interchangeable. We've got this little draped cardigan over the shoulders bring out that retro glamour vibe. And really the key here is adding adding arm coverage. And the sleeves, just a point that the sleeves do work in this cardigan, <laughs> it's a little styling tip at this time of year when the weather um, isn't necessarily nice, playing, isn't it? playing ball. Yeah. Beautiful, right. thank, thank you. you. Right, Alma, you'll be happy to know you can now go. You can now leave. <laughs> yeah. Right, where are we up to next? Right, women all over the nation are going to sigh of relief now because the stiletto is gone and we've got the hottest summer shoe for you, which is okay. far more practical. Uh, we have got Poppy and her block heel. Right. Now, the block heel is a little bit shorter than your stiletto and some people think it's frumpy, but it oh, clearly is not. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I like a block heel. Isn't that nice? The thing about the block heel is, right, if you do feel it might look a little bit frumpy on you, think of your colouring. That's why we've gone with the metallic here. It's very fresh, it's very youthful, um, and obviously a lot more practical. So if you've got, you know, if you're going to the races, mm. a wedding, a garden party, whatever it is, there's nothing worse than sinking yes. as soon as you step on the grass. Um, and actually, Debenhams very cleverly have introduced a paddock patch in some of their stores. Right, get this, it's literally a patch of grass yeah. that you can try at your heels in to see if you can actually walk on grass. And what a clever idea. And we've recreated their little paddock patch. Um, we've got one just over there. Would the you grass step looks onto like the turf, please? <laughs> <laughs> How and they there feeling? you go. They're perfect because they're not sinking. So you can walk around and you don't suddenly have that thing where you trip up. Yeah, like, like you knock backwards. It doesn't do that with the, like how they do with stilettos. It's very perfect. good. Poppy so was actually success. saying to me earlier on that these are pretty much the most comfortable shoes she's tried on the past really? six months. Really? Really? Oh, well, that's good to know. So well, how much Poppy. are they? They are from Dorothy Perkins and they're £29. And also, I guess, just a little special mention to do uh, this dress, which is from Matalan. Beautiful colour, really nice shape and a bargain at £20. Pence. You Gosh, may now great. step out of the field. Well done. That's <laughs> very good. You. That's now, a very nasty cow pat down there. Isn't isn't it? It, looks, it looks like we've left the grass out in the sun. Yeah. Now, if that block heel isn't for you, uh, the next three looks are three more alternatives of the block heel. So we've got three ladies now. We've got Clementine, Jasmine and Mercedes. And what I'm doing here now is really giving you my ultimate guide to wearing colour for different skin tones. Oh, I see. Oh, they're really nice. Yeah. I like these shoes. Well, really, they were just to show you I'd done the legwork and, you know, the block heel was in. They're everywhere yeah, on the high street. Yeah, they're great. Um, the rest of this is really about how to wear colour for your skin tone. Um, starting with Clementine, we've got the dark skin. So if you're, you know, darker complexion, dark eyes, dark skin, really anything goes in terms of colour. And actually, I always find when I'm dressing people, if you've got dark skin, the louder, the bolder, the better. Because mm. actually you can really carry it off. Um, you know, and don't be afraid to clash up your colours as we've done here. Um, the top is from New Look. These trousers from M&S come in at 19.50. Um, and those shoes 
are from Matalan. I like those. 18 pence. They're nice heel. I mean, they're great for this time yeah, of year. Yeah, good with everything as well. And then moving on to Jasmine, our paler skin. So, you know, if your complexion is that light, bit lighter, your eyes, your hair, and obviously your skin is that little bit more um, pasty, wear softer colours because mm -hmm. they're not going to drain you out. They are going to work with your complexion. And I think that's the key, isn't it? It's not working against your natural colouring. Yeah. It's trying to make the most of what you have. So don't be afraid to mix up your pastels either. Um, we've gone with this shirt from New Look, which is uh, $29.99. And then this skirt, nice pencil skirt from Zara, $35.99. Beautiful colours. Yeah, really easy wearing. A nice sort of neutral shoe, even though it's a different colour. Yeah. It's Which just like, like, it's a tonal look. Mm -hmm. It's not keeping it too serious. And, and finally... And then Mercedes, mature skin. So, you know, if anyone who's a little bit older, I often hear people saying, black is for me. I can't wear colour, but black is the colour mm. for me. Actually, that's a bit of a myth, because black can be the most draining colour yeah, on your skin. Yeah, hard. Really hard. So actually, what we've done here is gone with a base of white and given a really gentle pop of colour in this kind of lemon uh, blazer. It's the lovely. blazer here is from Mango. It's $44.99. Um, and, you know, on all the skin tones, you'll find metallics, ivories, whites really kind of bring up the natural mm -hmm. colouring and they work best. So that's what we've done here with just some really simple white staples underneath. Um, this skirt from New Look, $24.99, is gorgeous. Uh, lemon and cream together, I wouldn't normally think that, yeah. but it's lovely. 